It's the things you do on your own that matter, not the things you're forced to do. If you want to change your life, you must change your ways. You must develop discipline. You must develop strength. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, The Dunn Elizabeth, and here I am with some more information and tips to help you guys on your journey. So today I'm going to be giving you three reasons why you should be tracking your calories. I know we hear this thrown around a lot about caloric deficit, caloric surplus, tracking your macros, tracking your calories, my fitness pal. I'm going to tell you guys why and how it helped me get to where I am today with tracking my calories. So for those of you who do not know me, my name is Dunn Elizabeth Smith. I have lost a total of 154 pounds. I've been on my journey for about three years now and I'm still tracking, still going hard, helping other women, helping so many people get on their fitness journeys, get on their weight loss journey, their health journey, whatever your goal may be. My purpose that I feel like God has sent me here to do is to inspire you and motivate people to do whatever it is that they want to achieve. Like literally anything you want in life, you can achieve it. And I have proven to myself that I can do that. And I am here to prove to you that you are more than capable of achieving anything in your lifetime. As long as you have God by your side, a lot of determination and a lot of consistency, you could get to wherever it is you want to be. So besides all of that, let's get right into it. So what is tracking calories? So I'm going to give y'all a little backstory. So growing up, growing up, I was always a heavier heavier person so I never really was aware on how much I was intaking so I played sports a lot so I was always active but scientifically if you are consistently intaking more calories than you are burning out you will gain weight simple so there are several diets out there that you know it's no one-way approach to getting the goals that you want but the basis of all the diets out there that will get you the results that you want is being in a caloric deficit consistently intaking less than you are burning off so in order to do that of course you could take the approach of just eating healthier but I've seen people, and even myself, I would literally go to McDonald's and get a salad, drown, drown my salad and ranch. I would go to KFC and get grilled chicken, but then drown it in syrup. And in a sense, I'm thinking that I'm eating healthy, and I'm thinking that I'm making healthier choices, but I still could be eating more than I'm burning off. So that's where tracking calories come into play. One, tracking calories are very important for your goals. Like if you have a goal to maintain your weight, if you have a goal to gain weight, gain muscle, if you have a goal to lose weight, tracking calories can give you a good gauge of how to do that strategically. Sometimes, and, and even on, and even in two, it can help you do that within a time frame. So one thing that I have said before is that we are not aware of how much that we are intaking daily. I feel like that would be the first step when it comes to trying to figure out how you want to get onto your weight loss journey. It starts to track your intake. It's so important to be aware of how much we are eating. Like get a food scale. Start the way your food start to kind of get a gauge. That way, if you reach a point where like you get to a plateau, you can see like, okay, maybe I need to cut some calories here or add some calories here to keep my weight loss going. It's a good way to be able to determine that by being at a certain point with your intake. So, of course, when it comes to losing weight, you stick to your calories, you drop the weight, you get it off. Maintenance is the hardest part. So I'm in a point where I'm not necessarily trying to maintain, but trying to find a good level, or a good balance. Maintenance is the hard part. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you can relate how many people have lost a lot of weight and gained it right back. And do not be ashamed because it is very hard to maintain your weight. And this is why tracking calories is also important because when you get to a point where you want to maintain your weight, like I said before, it's a certain amount of calories that you should be eating to maintain your weight. And so if you have that in mind and you know how much that is and you've been tracking consistently over time, it becomes like second nature to know what you're eating, how much you're eating to stay at the weight that you are at and still have the body that you want. It's very frustrating and hard to keep losing and regaining, keep losing and regaining the same weight over and over again. So save yourself the stress, save yourself the 
you know, the downtime, the frustration of being in a cycle and start tracking those calories. Stay consistent with it. Start tracking it. So that way you can see I have to eat this amount to lose this much weight. Okay, so now I get here. I get where I want to stay. Now, okay, let me work my way up to a maintenance, which means you get to eat more food to stay at your goal. And another thing that I see is a lot of people start cutting, like start with a calorie amount way too low. So, I like to teach people the sustainable way of losing weight, which is a slower process. But of course, sometimes we get impatient, we want to see it come out quick. So with that being said, sometimes when you take that quicker route to losing weight faster, it's even harder to maintain it. So that's why tracking calories will be very important because you could cut really low to drop the weight fast, but at the same time, the moment you stop trying to track that progress over time, trying to track to work your way back up into a maintenance, it, the weight will come back fast without a doubt. Like our bodies are meant to adapt to change. So when we get used to one thing and then you stop it, it's going to try to hurry back and fight back to get to where it was because, you know, our bodies like to be comfortable. Our, our bodies like to, you know, stick to the same thing. So when you get used to one thing, you got to slowly get your body back into that routine, back into that motion to where you could get to a good standpoint and you can maintain your weight, which means, like I said, you get more food. So, last but not least, the best part of tracking my calories, tracking my macros, is food freedom. Like, literally, I like I said before, I would eat salads and I would eat KFC and syrup and I would think that I was eating so healthy, wasn't losing no weight, and it just got really, really frustrating. So, what better way to be aware of how much you're intaking and be able to eat whatever you want and still get the results now that's life baby like you can't beat that that's life of course in a sense it does take some type of discipline like of course you want to prioritize healthier foods over more you know processed foods and the things that you like but you have that freedom to do so one thing that i tell people all the time is our body really don't our body really don't know good from bad food. So when you get to put these labels on this good food, this bad food, it only makes you more frustrated. But I like this rule of 80-20. 80% healthier foods, 20% what you love, that helps you keep that balance. We go into this phase where we want to be all in. Like everything needs to be perfect. We need to hit those calories perfectly to make sure everything healthier. Then you get a little chance on the weekend to eat you a little piece and now you're going ham. You're going hard because you feel like, I already messed up, so let me go hard because tomorrow I'm going to go all back in. But when you really sit down and think about it, the key to losing weight and keeping it off is learning that it's a lifestyle change. Creating healthier habits and being aware of your intake. So as long as you are aware of your intake, tracking your calories, you can cook whatever you want, log it, you can go to Chick-fil-A, log it. If you want a cheesecake, you can log it. And as long as you are fitting into those numbers, you will still lose weight. So like I said before, you will want to prioritize healthier foods because we, we, we love a healthy body. You know, you want, you want to prioritize those greens. You want to prioritize that protein. But in a sense, we are human. You know, we are human. We will make mistakes. And so what better way to find a way to balance with things that you love versus things that are healthier for you than to being aware and tracking your intake. So with that being said, I have been tracking for over three years now, y'all. And like literally, I, I have had times where I wanted to stop tracking, but I'm like, done. You really can't stop tracking because literally me not tracking had me in the position that I was in before I started. Like not being aware of how much I'm eating, eating uncontrollably, not really being in control of what's on my plate. So that's why I always recommend people to get a food scale. Get a food scale because your eyeballs are not measuring cups. Your eyeballs are not measuring cups, ladies. Like, you cannot, ladies and gentlemen. Your eyeballs are not measuring cups. Get your food skill. Be aware. Like, a better way to reach your goal in the time period that you want to reach them with being accurate. Like, the more accurate and consistent you are, the quicker you can get your results. And tracking calories will help you get there as fast as you want to get there. As quick as you want to get there, if you want to slow it down, eat a little bit more, you can do that. Like, it's open for you to do that. Like I said, I always go for the more healthier, sustainable way, slower weight loss. It gives you time to keep as much muscle as possible. But, hey, you can do it however you want to do it and get it done. So, if you want to drop it fast, drop it fast. Keep a hold onto your calories so that way you can strategically get your way back up to a maintenance so you don't 
pack it back on real super duper quick. And like I said, y'all, consistency is key. So, of course, as I said, it, it may not, it's, it's easier said than done, but... Tracking calories is definitely a task. Like, I didn't have times where, like, when I first started, I would barely hit my calories. Or I would, you know, go over sometimes, of course. Because, you know, I just do that sometimes. I go over. But, like, over time, as you continue to do it, you'll start to find, like, things that work. Like, find things that you like. Find things that you don't like. Find things that makes you continuously go over. And you just learn from your mistakes. And you learn how to make it flow and make it become more easier for you and become more of a lifestyle thing where it's just second nature for you to track. Like me, before I go to sleep at night, I log what I'm going to eat the next day and it don't take no thought. Maybe I'll try to kind of fight with myself like, done, do you want a bagel or a muffin? But it's something simple. And just stick with the program. Like, of course, if you want it done quick and you want it done and in a certain amount of time, you have to be consistent. Like, literally, I tell people all the time, there is no quick fix to unhealthy habits. No quick fix to unhealthy habits. And I mean that by saying you could lose the weight really, really fast. But if you do not process in your mind that it will take a lifestyle change of me consistently making healthier choices, you will be right back in the same predicament that you started in, not being aware of how much that you're intaking. A lot of people think that, oh, I can't lose weight because I like carbs, or I can't lose weight because I got, like, pasta. No, you can't lose weight because you're eating too much of those things. Keep your pasta, baby. Log your pasta. If you want pasta, you want pizza, you can have that. But it's all about... Making sure that you are intaking less than you burning off. And that will get you the results that you want. So if you're a person that's watching that's trying to pick up some weight, gain some muscle, you will have to eat more. There's no way around it. In order to build that muscle, you have to eat more. Like, you just have to eat more. Like, you have to give your body that fuel to keep you going. Now, macros is a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But the first step that I would give to people who are looking to start their journey and, you know, trying to figure out where to start start with nutrition. Nutrition is literally 80% of the results that you will get. You cannot out train a bad diet. I'm a living witness, baby, because I thought that I could stand in the gym for two hours every day, work out hard, and then still go home and eat up everything. Child, please. That body said no. All I did was wear myself out and waste a whole bunch of time. You have to realize that Nutrition will be the main tool to the results that you want within your journey. And once you realize that, exercise just becomes an accessory. Strength training, cardio will help you get that physique goals that you want, but nutrition will ensure your results. So always, when you're thinking about starting, make nutrition your first step. And so with that being said, if you're still clueless about what your caloric deficit or what your macro should be, I will leave the details below for you to purchase your plan today. And go ahead and get started on your journey. Like I said, consistency will be key. Like most times we want that quick fix. But like I said, there is no quick fix to unhealthy habits. Start creating new habits now to follow you. So when you get to the, you get to a point where you're like, okay, baby, yeah, this is it. I would like to stay right here. Maybe tone, maybe build a little muscle here, build a little muscle there. Stay consistent with your calories. When you get to a point where you want to build more muscle, all you're going to have to do is just eat a little bit more. And who mad at that? Hmm, I know I am, baby. Because none can always take an extra, a, a extra couple of calories, okay? So, like I said, I hope this video was helpful. And make sure you look in the details below to purchase your nutrition plan today. I have a lot of different workout plans, workout programs that you can follow as well. I will post that below as well. And with that being said, y'all already know the drill. Come back and message your girl. Peace out.